This interview is for information only and should not be considered as investment advice or a recommendation to buy shares in the company featured. Welcome to this stock box interview. Well, joining us today is Rebecca Hunter, the VP of Exploration at Forum Energy Metals, joining us live from Beaver Creek at the Precious Metals Summit. So hello, Rebecca, how are you doing? Oh, very good. Uh, how are you doing, Mark? Very good. Thank you, Rebecca. How was the summit? Just quickly, what's the, the vibe that you're getting on the ground? Um, it's really good. It's busy. We've got lots of meetings um, in the next couple of days. Um, we gave a presentation on Monday, just, or uh, Tuesday, yesterday. <laughs> and uh, basically in the kind of a new session uh, focused on more energy minerals and stuff like that. So okay. so the, the conference has expanded a little bit to include some of us in it. So we were invited and we gave a good update on our project. Okay, good. Well, I'm sure that the theme is very much energy metals. Indeed, this evening we're doing a live broadcast all about energy metals. Uranium is actually one of the featured commodities on tonight, but we won't talk about that today. We're here to catch up on the news from the company's uh, Thielen Basin Uranium project, where you've intersected 2.25% U308 over 11.1 meters. And this is part of many assay results, isn't it, from the inaugural 2023 summer drill program. And I noticed from the press release that you were quoted saying that Forum's drill program successfully shows the potential of the Tadagak deposit to be a sizable new discovery in the Thielen Basin with grades and widths intersected at the main and west zones, exceeding our expectations in both grade and extent. And he went on to say that the drilling has demonstrated that this project is a fertile area to host a major yet to be discovered unconformity related type uranium deposits. Before we get into some of the results there, I just want to talk about uranium unconformity deposits because they're the ones that stand out from the crowd, aren't they? They're the ones that you want as a uranium explorer. Yeah, well, unconformity deposits are so special because they're, they're very, they can be very high grade. So they're the highest grade deposits that you can get in the world. And so our Thelon project is tagging into a very un- um, explored basin that has those types of deposits. So let's talk about these grades then. Um, could you explain a bit about the significance of, for example, that 2.25% and some of the other standout grades there for perhaps people who are not as familiar with how to uh, understand uranium grades? Yeah, so uh, one of the special things about unconformity is that you do get grades over a percent. The majority of um, uranium deposits throughout the world are usually lower than 1%, usually lower than 0.5% actually. And so having an intercept uh, with 2% over 10 meters is quite significant and very, you know, very similar to what you can see in the Athabasca. And, and also what's special about that hit is that it's only a part of that zone. So we were, we were testing the Tadigak main zone basically to get the structural controls because when we were drilling it back when I was there with Cameco, we were just getting into it. We didn't know exactly the orientation of these zones. And so now we do. Uh, based on my work with my thesis and now the work that we did with Forum, we understand that they're very stacked, steep lenses. And so basically we just tagged into the very top end of it. So, and there's more, if we were going to step back, we would tag into more of these steeply dipping lenses of similar grade. Okay, well, that's good to hear. So you're talking there really that normally a, a uranium deposit might be under 2%, but a non-conformity you're looking certainly over that amount. So are these initial, this is your first drill program here. You say it's helped you understand the orientation there and understand some of these lenses, which we can maybe discuss in a different um, feature we might do on this project. But the early signs here with the grades that you're getting give you a lot of confidence today. Are they a very good start? They're, yeah, a very great start. And so anytime you get over 1% um, of those widths, you're doing really well, and especially for this region. And so I guess just as a comparison, um, if you were to compare it to gold deposits, for instance, a 1% deposit is kind of in the one half um, ounce per gold uh, 
context yeah. if you're looking yeah. at it in terms of a gold deposit. Okay, so it would be almost like half a half a percent of, of of gold is a way to compare it. That's quite a good uh, comparison for people who are more familiar. I understand yeah. one of the uh, the drill holes uh, you lost the core from one of the, from the main section. Is that something to worry about? I know you did a, a scintillometer as well. Yeah, so I mean these rocks of so the mineral the mineralization is actually in a lot of clay alteration. That's why what we also use gravity to to find these things. So there's a lot of alteration. And so the drilling can be challenging. And so unfortunately on our first hole, basically the, the ore zone that we would have went through that we intersected in the second hole uh, was ground up, but it was shown in the radiometric probe. So we know it was there. And so then we had to follow it up so we could actually get assay results. Right. Okay. So, so it's, not a, it's not a big problem that, that, that you lost it. You, it's still a worthwhile information you got from that hole. Yeah, it was still very worthwhile. Um, oh. And, you know, going forward, like, for the most part, that's not a problem. Like, these, okay. this area is fairly reasonable to drill. Okay, okay, good. So that's on the main area, of course, Tadagak West as well. It's another mineralized area which may connect to the main deposit, but it's yet to be determined here. But you did drill two holes to test the extension of the mineralization and you, uh, that was already identified. And you're awaiting assays from them, but again, the, the scintillometer here has given you early good readings that mineralization is present. Yes, yeah, so we know that we hit, you know, really nice zones, and so we're just going to wait for the assay results. And they were kind of infill, so they're, the holes are about 100, kilom- uh, 100 meters from the Tadagak main area that we were drilling, so, so it's to the west, and they were kind of infill and, yeah, extent. Um, drill sites. Okay. So all in all, then, for an inaugural drill program here on Steel and Basin, of course, where you uh, did your thesis, you know a lot about this project. How are you feeling about this initial, these initial signs that you're seeing here and the future prospectivity of this project? Well, I think now, like I kind of stated earlier, we know how these deposits, at least at the Tadigak zone, are situated in space. And so now, even in holes that we did that were historically drilled that missed um, some of the mineralization, we can go back there, drill it at a better angle and likely have a lot better success in hitting these steeply dipping zones. And so that's how um, we think that we can also expand the extent because now we can look at that and, and actually stuff that might have been cut off with previous drill holes now can be expanded because we know how to test it better. Okay, so this will set you up for next year's active field season, which I assume will be pretty active on this project. Yeah, well, we have basically this part that we tested with these four holes. That's just the first 200 meters of the actual anomaly. And so we have that whole rest of that 1.5 kilometer extent to test both along trend of the mineralization that we already know, but also along sub parallel structures. Okay. And that'll be, when will that, is that ongoing now, that drilling, or is that coming later? No, um, we're done for the season. Yeah, so for we the wrapped season. up. Yeah, okay. so this is where we'll, we'll pick this up next year. Indeed. Okay. Well, thank you very much for your time today, Rebecca Hunter, the VP of Exploration at Forum Energy Metals. Thanks a lot, Mark. If you enjoyed this interview, then give us a thumbs up, a like, or a retweet. Subscribe to us on YouTube or follow us on Twitter and hit that notification bell to be the first to know when we release new content. There's loads of great content on our website too, across all our programs at stockboxmedia.com. Thank you for watching.